Good morning folks. Joining me today on the Grand Union Canal. Going to hopefully catch some skimmers. Have fished here before, have caught skimmers here before. So uh, fingers crossed there'll be a few around. What I think I'm going to do is, is fish two main lines. I don't want to complicate things too much. So my opening gambit, if you like, is going to be a bread punch line down the middle at about seven meters, sort of right in the middle of the canal, deepest spot. Um, and I expect that to hopefully produce a few fish for the first couple of hours. And my second line is going to be a little further out at about 10 meters and that one I'm just going to feed some, some ground bait and some squats and uh, as the day progresses the, the fish may well get pushed away and pushed onto that line and sometimes fish can go off bread as well and uh, then it's kind of pointless fishing it so I want something to change over onto a bit later on if need be. I'm also going to be pinging a few casters right over there to the boat. Um, last time I was here it wasn't particularly productive um, technique but you never know, you know, different day, different things work so we shall see. Um, there's roach in here, roach perch, general canal fish, roach perch, skimmers, um, I think there's a few chub and the old gudgeon and whatever as well. Uh, but really, I really want to sit and, and fish for skimmers. It's going to be my main punch rig. I've got a 0.6 float. I've got a bulk of around about 18 inches from the hook, just a number eight is there. And then three little droppers, I think they're number nines. Down to a, ooh, can't know what hook length it is. Zero 09 perhaps, and a size 18 hook. And the elastic I've got in here is a two to four hollow, so it's, it's very light. Uh, skimmers have got kind of quite soft mouths and if the hook hold isn't good, they quite often come off, so it's better to have a soft elastic than, you know, fish for them with a number sort of five or six because um, sometimes they, they'll just come off. <clears throat> so that's that one. I'm going to start fishing sort of dead depth with this one and then, you know, go over depth or under, depending on uh, what the fish are telling me, really. And I've got my squat rig. Quite similar, actually just got a much smaller hook on and finer hook length and the bulk is scattered out a little bit more you know again I'm, I'm hoping to catch skimmers I'm hoping they're going to be down on the bottom in fact I've, I've mixed my ground bait up last night um, what that does is it, it soaks in all the moisture and uh, that means the ground bait is fairly inert i.e. you don't have little fizzy particles going up all over the swim what tends to happen if, if, you, if you have ground bait like that is you get lots of little roach like that um, and they're quite annoying I know you really want to catch them so nice heavy ground bait it's going to sink to the bottom it's just going to sit there and we've put quite a lot of squat out to begin with as well and just just leave it I might ping a few squats over the top um, occasionally but I don't think I'm going to be sort of blasting squat as you would if you were roach fishing uh, I don't really want to catch roach My final rig is the caster rig for fishing up against the boat there. That's just got a strung out load of shot, 16 hook, slightly heavy hook length on there. And uh, a float with a nice fat bristle on it. Don't know if this is going to see a lot of action today. Um, but I'll probably have a, a couple of chucks over there every, every hour or so. I'll stick the caster on, put it over. If I get a bite immediately, great. If not, after five minutes, I'll just put it back again. In the same sort of vein as my ground bait, my, my bread punch, I've dampened that up quite a lot. And then I've added in a bit of uh, 
white crumb and that, that again binds it together, makes it sink. I don't want to feed a nice cloud of punch bread um, because that just attract little tiny roach again. I want the bread to sit there on the bottom and hopefully the skimmers will come over and, uh, and feed on it and we'll catch them. I think the canal's about, it's about 11 metres over to the boat. Um, so my, my squat line is going to be a metre and a half, two metres short of the boat. And then I've got a little dolly butt that I can add an extra half a metre. If I need to chase them over, and if I need to chase them over further, I can, I can put another section on. Um, hopefully I won't have to do that because the longer you're fishing, you know, the longer pole, the more bloody annoying it is. So, plus I have to go shipping across the path. Alright, I think I'll put a little bit of bait out now and get fishing. Stick a bit out of my bread line to begin with. Put a decent bit out. Sort of a bigger than a golf ball but smaller than a tennis ball. Give it a reasonable squeeze. I'm talking about ball like that. That's going to go right in the middle of the canal, straight in front of me. straight down to the bottom there. Perfect. Okay. Now for a bit of ground bait. This is uh, I don't know, super cup and a, and a bait tech ground bait. The bait tech is um, quite sticky. So that's quite good. It's just gonna pull it all together and make it sink. And I'm going to put three similar sized balls of this out. Again, not quite as big as a tennis ball. I'm going to squeeze them pretty hard. And those I'm going to be feeding at about. 10 o'clock, so a couple of metres to my left. Just to keep it away from my other line, basically. thing about this swim is there's a fairly wide grass bank so unless I'm fishing further out I don't actually have to ship over the path and even if I do there's plenty of room for them to get round so it's quite reassuring Final uh, cup. I'm going to put a good bit of squat in there. Squat of really tiny little maggots, and skimmers love them. So basically, they don't crawl very much. They just kind of stretch out and sit on the bottom. So it's a bit like using dead maggots, really. And I'm going to put a decent handful in. I don't know. There's hundreds there. Oh. I'm just going to put a 
couple of casters in as well. 20 or 30. If I'm really struggling over on the uh, on that further line I'll probably chop a few worms and put them out as well next to the boat but I'm not going to bother for now. I don't really want to catch a perch. So. Need to muck around my rigs a little bit while my baited areas settle down and then we'll get fishing. Right, I've got all my rigs adjusted so let's have a cast out on the bread line. Pretty cold today, actually. It's going to be a bit windy. So, uh, just wait and see what happens. Really, I've been fishing for about ooh, 45 minutes, and uh, had two skimmers. A little bit slow. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch one for the camera. There you go, little skimmer, probably seven ounces, something like that. The other two are pretty much similar size. I think you could probably see the, the soft elastic working there. Um, yeah, it really does help. Keep that nice and lubricated as well. It's pretty cold, but it's sunny. The sun on the water. There's a bit of warmth in the sun as well. So uh, it'll kind of warm things up and get them going. It may well be that they keep feeding on the bread on this line all day. If that's the case, then I can just kind of switch between the two lines to, to, you know, rest the swim after a couple of fish. Yeah, just putting that extra couple of inches on the deck has definitely seems to have made a difference. Before, I was just off the bottom, I was getting the most tiny little touches. Just going to have a quick cast on the squat. Not oh, pinky actually, just a single little pink fluoro pinky on.
Another little skimmer. Let's have another quick look. I don't want to hammer that line too much early on. That's the problem. I'll give it another few minutes on there. I'll just feed a bit more of my bread line. Well, fishing's pretty hard. I think I've had about eight or nine skimmers, a few little roach and stuff. Seems to be you sort of pick up a few and then they bagger off and actually had quite a few boats come through which is... I don't think it's helped. Just been trying the further line. I've come back in now. I'm back on on the bread punch line. But uh, I did pick up a couple of skimmers just by going across to about 10 meters on the pinky. Well, I think I'm going to pack up early today. It's been a bit grim, to be honest. Very cold wind, hail, rain. Um, the skimmers seem to sort of bug it off, so I'm still picking up the old roach, but um, it's not uh, not catching enough to force me to stay. Really cold feet. Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> right, I'm going to pack up and then we'll pull these fish out and have a look. Six pound three ounce there. A bit more than I thought, actually. Mostly skimmers. And uh, there's a few, nothing massive, typically around sort of uh, six to eight ounce, I reckon. And then there's probably, uh, oh, I don't know, 20 or 30 little roach in there as well. Pop them back in. Well, I am sick and tired of this weather. This has been bloody horrible for about, I don't know, eight weeks now or something. It seems to kind of warm up and then come the weekend it's bloody freezing again. Well, it's going to warm up soon and we'll get into some tench fishing in a couple of months. Before the end of the season though, on the rivers, I will definitely be going down to fish the uh, fen drains a couple of times 
hoping to do uh, a session fishing for roach and uh, at least one session tench fishing as well. So uh, got that to look forward to. Until then, I shall see you later.